Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh... Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen. Yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, now, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, if the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting.
so strange. What you want? On, Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So? Instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill? This is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. No, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. Carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our head, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him, too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. We're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Huh. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. Well, uh, that's different. See, 
it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. You just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. Set them in the road. Over here, so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other. Clear side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Joking, Bill. How much we get, Cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Well, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. 